skin. I was so excited whenever she announced this. I was just like, this woman is literally taking over my life little by little with makeup, Savage Mix Fenty, and now skincare. I just also want to point out that I did use this for a full seven days. I didn't just use it for like a day or two and then like, ugh, no. But I, I use it in the morning. I used it in the evening before I fell asleep. And I did take some pictures before. So I am having like skin issues right now. I don't know why. I thought maybe her skin line would probably help a little or not, but I did take some pictures um, of the day, the first day that I started using it. And I took some the last day, which was yesterday. Okay, so here's the right side of my face. And you can obviously see the red blemishes on my cheek. This is my updated picture of my right side face. So you, as you can see, um, my complexion looks a little better now. And this is the uh, first picture I took of my left side of my face. And you can see some acne and some uh, bumpiness kind of coming up there. And this is the, an updated picture of my left side. It still kind of looks the same to me, honestly. I want to talk about the products here. The Total Cleanser. I loved her intention behind this. She had mentioned in her video that we that she uses way too many makeup wipes and i do too i didn't realize myself how damaging that is to the environment so i really do like this is like a, like it's a two-in-one thing basically so uh, it cleanses your skin and it also removes your makeup now for me personally if i was wearing a full beat like a full face of makeup like heavy full coverage whatever i'm doing that day i'm probably gonna double cleanse because you just never know if you don't want any makeup residue on your face you just don't want that i the fragrance it's a little it's, it's not even a little i'm lying i should not even say little it has it's there like you smell it it smells like cherry it smells fruity basically if you don't like fragrance in your stuff and you feel like it should not be in your skincare then this is probably not for you i really like this like look at this thick i love it <laughs> like the next item i'm going to be talking about is the fat water toner serum i love this i really do like this i loved how clean my skin felt it didn't feel stripped that's what it says it does um it evens out skin tone and it fights shine without stripping the skin and it also reduces the look of dark spots and instantly refines the look of pores and i feel like it definitely does that i feel like this is really good to use before you do your makeup i i really like this this also doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it it this out of this entire collection here this has the least amount of fragrance uh smell to it um i'm not gonna say it doesn't have anything at all it has very very slight like you barely even notice it but then again that's just me you might be sensitive to it i don't know but for me personally out of everything here this doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it it's just very minimal hydrovisor moisturizer now this is a moisturizer and it has spf in it and right now like during the summer especially here in texas oh that sun is unforgivable at times i feel like it just it gets you so definitely get you an spf even if it's not this one like i can't stress that enough i also will have to say that it has a lot of fragrance to it i'm not even gonna sit here and lie it's i feel personally out of all three of these items, I feel like this smells a little, oh, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot stronger than this one, than the Total Cleanser with the cherry in it. Like I said, if it bothers you, do not buy this. Do not buy this and don't buy the, do not buy the Hydrovisor Moisturizer and do not buy the cleanser, okay? If I have to recommend anything for anyone that's sensitive to fragrance, it would probably just be the toner. I really like the Hydrovisor because, um, it didn't leave me a white cast and i feel like anyone with any skin tone could wear this i recommend this because i like that it doesn't leave me a white cast so i feel like all skin tones could definitely use this um and it also doesn't leave any flakes on me after a while like my it doesn't leave my skin dry it feels really really moisturized and i love it um and i feel like after everything is on my face i just feel like it just melts on nicely like it just feels really good and soft and, and moisturized and hydrated i just that's just my experience i don't know how your experience is gonna be and this would happen to me okay so um yeah this concludes my review i do recommend it 
So this concludes my review. Thanks you guys so much for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe.